Okay, let's take a look at what's happening in South America. The coronavirus pandemic is taking a dramatic turn in Chile, where tensions are rising over food shortages and unemployment caused by the lockdown. Military forces have been deployed in the capital amid clashes between locals and police. And it all comes as increasing numbers of people say they're going hungry and are desperate for help. I have four children. I don't receive any help from the government because I have my own business, so they don't help me. That's why many people here who are small entrepreneurs do not get any help. Now I am a taxi driver. I can't make a living because which passengers can I pick up and what does the government give us? Help, food. It's not because of the quarantine. We need help, food. It's food that people are asking for right now. The word hunger has been projected on some of Santiago's most iconic buildings as Chileans there denounce the government's perceived lack of help. Making matters worse, the pandemic has led to a spike in food prices. Large parts of Chile were placed under lockdown as the virus took hold. Despite the president promising two and a half million food parcels to the needy, the move has failed to calm tensions. Latin American studies professor Daniel Shaw believes the leaders lost his sense of reality. The shortage of food was the straw that broke the proverbial camel's back. People came into the streets, and one of the slogans was, we'll respect the quarantine, but we're not going to uh, stay here and starve. So people came into the streets, and what does Piñera and the neoliberal cabinet do in typical Pinochet-esque style? Instead of offering food and services and what the people need, they offer up carabineros, the infamous military police, more repression, water hoses and tanks, which are not going to solve the everyday problems in Santiago de Chile and the other oppressed communities across Chile. Sebastián Piñera, somebody that they do not identify with, that has never had to suffer the way that the everyday people of Chile do. So we could see this come to a culminating head in the upcoming weeks.